I think the the biggest wow that Casey West brings to this Baylor team is the fact that, hey, I came in, I'm, I can play second, I can play third, I can pitch, just put me in the lineup. Well, I'll tell you, some of the best meteorologists are probably your baseball and softball coaches, <laughs> especially with the, uh, the addition of so many different weather apps. That cut the deficit in half at the time. There's the throw down, not in time. Just the one-two punch that this team right here brings. And Malloy is going to take third, and obstruction will give her home. A walk for Kiki Malloy, a couple of stolen bases. And Riley West, the two-hole hitter, witnesses Malloy advance all the way around the bases on her own. Payoff pitch to Riley West. All of a sudden, with no teammate on the base pass, she'll grab a walk. The one-two. Nugent sits back on it. Chance for a double play for Baylor. Tobin to Govin. That's a one-out walk for Hawk. Sitting on a two-strike count. Big part of that in the circle. Ball's going to get away, and it hits Benford. Orsini, the 2-1, shot back up the middle. Malloy cannot get under it. Time run will come home. Well, not much Malloy could have done there. To her credit, kept the ball in front of her after she came in sliding. But Emily Hot with two outs will traverse the final 120 feet. Taylor Strain occupies that spot tonight. Over the right side, and a chance to get that elusive third and final out. McKenna Gibson scoops it up and taps on the bag. This is Abby Flores, the sophomore at the plate, batting out of the seven hole. Your catcher in this ball game. And Abby comes through with her first collegiate hit as a Baylor Bear, setting the table here in the second inning. And a, a delayed steal in there in time. Tough chopper up the middle. Everybody's going to be safe on the corners. Gets the bunt down. Orsini's only play is at the plate, and it's right on target. Gottschall comes in and slams the door shut. Baylor will strand a pair. And with a single swing of the bat, has matched Tennessee history. For a 57th time, Kiki Malloy will touch them all. First pitch, and I don't think the only thing that moved on the on that diamond was the heads of the Baylor players. You knew it off the bat. She just got all of that. The All-American now tied for the top spot in career home runs in Knoxville. And you just watch here. Every speechless you and i had a whole nother page of nice things to say about her <laughs> and we're gonna have to wait this could be trouble back towards the wall and it carries out back to back home runs as now riley west gets in on the phone we talked about that right there i mean just you see the speed you see consistency from a one two hitter but Man, to be able to go back-to-back -back home runs at the top of the lineup. That's your team leader in home runs after she conquered the outfield wall in Arlington yesterday. And she worked for it, too. It wasn't a, a pitch that was necessarily over the plate, but she sat back and got all of that. The 2-2 from Orm to Gibson. Left side, high hop, inning will continue. Base hit for McKenna Gibson. Three straight hits with two outs, and they'll save back in time. A generous rounding by Gibson, who's being emphatically told by her coach to get back. Quickly, the oh no moment. Gobin's tag. Bang, bang. Yeah. Well, we saw an angle. Baylor's out of the inning. 3 2, laid off it. Panel the runner on first after the. One out walk here in the fourth. Rodriguez looking to do it again. This one off the wall. Two aboard for Tennessee. Looking to add here in the fourth. Everybody's going to advance. 
They would have anyways on the walk. Your three base runners for Tennessee. The 2 2. They'll do it again. Does the glove hit the bat? Pretty darn close. Yep, catcher's interference. A successful challenge by Karen Weekly. Bat has woken up. Dari Orm, unimpressed with resumes and lineage. That's going to get down. Here in the fourth for Baylor. Now hit her. Two on for Baylor, two outs as well. The 0-2 to Hot got her. Gottschall gets the strikeout, her fifth in relief. Come in and say, hey, give me a chance to, to pinch hit and just take it over the fence. It's part of one of the deepest parts of the field. Well, again, kudos to both of these teams for not steering away from a matchup like this. Payoff pitch, ball four. And her sister Gabby also on the squad, and Leach will come through here. With bases loaded and one out, everybody advances 60 feet on the RBI single from the freshman Leach. One pitch later, it's Kiki Malloy. And Wilson, just for good measure, throws a strike home. West. That one out to the wall, off the wall. And it's more production with two outs, the relay home off the mark. And that's going to allow one more Tennessee run to score. I believe it was already a dead ball that was going to automatically. One swing of the bat. C. Riley run. Wasn't quite exactly what we were thinking of, but she definitely took advantage of every piece of that. She was standing on second when that ball was thrown home. Over the right side, that gets through. We are still playing softball on a Friday night here in Waco. Nice start to the season for her in the circle. And a delayed strike three called. Ball game. Tennessee's going to win the weekend series here in Waco. They've improved to 3-0 and oh in Texas, and it's a run rule victory against their top 25 foe on the road.